Hello everyone, today I am doing a review of the Nanami Cafe Note Notebook. Alright, so this is a notebook that Nanami Paper came out with, a little bit more recent, and it is a slightly smaller version of their really popular Seven Seas series that are of A5. So this one is called a Slim B6 size, so the dimensions are 17.6 by 11 millimeters, sorry, centimeters, 17.6 by 11 centimeters, or 4.3 by about 7 inches. So it's called a Slim B6, because it's slightly more narrow than a standard B6 size. And it comes in this nice protective cardboard cover. It's got just yellow. And let's put this away. So this is the actual notebook. As I said, it's um, a slimmer, smaller version of the standard uh, 7C series. It has, again, 384 pages or 192 sheets. And it comes with this coated paper cover. So it's slightly thicker, like stock paper that, that I coated. So it is slight water repellent. And it's pretty smooth. And here you can see the spine and the binding a little bit here it shows through a tad just right there and then the back again just kind of dark gray black slightly textured but feels pretty smooth cardboard cover and it has rounded edges and it lies extremely flat let me show you here it opens up that ivory cream colored um, cover page right there and then you open it this is a uh, seven millimeter lines. It is white Toma River paper with light blue lines. As you can see, and there's a slight margin around the edges with the lines right there. You can see that. And a little bit at the top and at the bottom. It lies super flat. Let me show you this. The way it's stitched and bound. It's called thread bound the way it's made so it lies super flat and I can show you the stitching right now if I can find it let's give me a second here that's not it it's really hard to find because these pages are super thin it's a 52 gram Toma River paper so it's super thin paper if the camera picks this up you can see it's stitched right there really nicely done. You can see how it just bends over super easily, lies super flat. As I said, Toma River paper is really famous Japanese paper that's extremely fountain pen friendly despite being super thin. As I said, it's only 52 gram paper with most notebooks have 80 or 90 gram paper in their notebooks. So it's almost half as thin as regular paper that it's being used in most notebooks. It's pretty amazing. It feels kind of like, like Bible paper. I love the paper because of the way it crinkles and just the way it feels when you write on it. It's pretty smooth too. Um, it comes with a pink blotter sheet. And here is my writing sample. So we have a pencil, ballpoint pen, 0 0.4 millimeter gel pen, 0 0.7 millimeter, millimeter gel pen and then we have the Pilot Metropolitan medium nib with diamond marine ink and this paper creates really nice shading I don't know if the camera picks this up but there's some nice variation between the bottom and the top of um, the letters you can see there it's dark at the bottom than it is at the top so especially with like a little bit wider nibs and different type of inks uh, you can just uh, create a really nice um, shading and variety with your ink on the paper. So this paper is absolutely amazing for fountain pens. I actually love using a fountain pen with Toma River paper. And it handles all the other pens really nice as well. It gives you a really nice smooth writing experience. And the only thing is, of course, because it is so thin, there's quite a bit of ghosting, which does not bother me at all. If it bothers you, then you can just use only one side and not both of them. As I said, it's not a big deal for me. And there's no bleed through with 
the fountain pen, so it fa handles fountain pe pens really well despite um, being s such a thin paper. So really great paper quality. And um, I think I told you everything there is to know about this. It is called the Shinsho size, which is a Japanese sizing um, of this notebook. And uh, yeah, as I told you, the dimensions are ready roughly in A6. And I will also do a comparison between um, the Seven Seas Rider and the Cafe. And uh, this has uh, white Toma River paper in it, whereas my old uh, Seven Seas Rider has ivory colored paper in it. I prefer the ivory colored, so this is a little bit too white for my taste. I like it when it's paper is cream colored. It's just easier on the eyes, in my opinion, when you write on it. It's just a little bit too bright for me. But if you use fountain pens and you want you know, the colors to really be truly reflected on the paper, then that might be good for you. As I said, I personally prefer the other kind they have been using in the old Seven Seas Riders. It's a really nice compact format. As you can see, it's super flexible. Uh, what I love about this is that you can take this with you anywhere because it's quite a bit lighter than their F A5 notebooks. So that was my review of the Nanami Cafe Note notebook. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more notebook videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.